Today, we're going to talk about customizing a project that already exists in Cricut Design Space. So from the canvas, we are going to go from to projects. And then I'm going to type in monogram because the person that actually asked me this question was looking at this monogram project. So I am going to customize this and let's replace it. Okay, so the challenge that the other person was having with this was they clicked on this and they assumed they were going to be able to double click on it and it was going to be a text box that they could just change these letters. But when I click on this, all three of these letters in the monogram are one image. Let's look over at the layers panel and that's going to give us some more information. This shows three separate lines, one for each letter and then those are attached together, which attaching makes them hold their placement in position. So in order to edit those, we first need to detach them, okay? So now we can select each individual letter, but again, we can't double click on it and edit that text because it is an image of the letter R, not a text box with the letter R in it. So if I come over here to my decorative or to my layers panel, it says decorative monogram R. That's saying this is an image. It'd be the same as if we insert an image of a butterfly. We can't double click on that and change it to a dog. Okay, so if I right click on this though, I can go to image info and it tells me I can view the whole cartridge right here. So that brought me to this cartridge. Now I see all the other letters in that same font style. So now my initials are SMM. So I'm going to find the S. There's the M. And there's the S. So now I'm going to insert those. So now what I can do is combine those to be my own initials. And I can make them the size I want, or if I really wanted to, I could click up here to see that this one is 1.362 in, um, in height and then change mine to be the exact same. And then this one is, so I can literally make them exact replicas of the original design. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to duplicate this and make this one smaller because my initials are SMM. What is that? That didn't work. That's weird. There we go. There it is. Okay. Actually, I want it a little bigger. So this is how you make it your own. Okay, so now I can select all of this and go align and align those vertically. So it's like I drew a center line through all of them to line them up. And now it's set up with the same font style, only it's my initials. So let's look in another example of that. Um, another monogram project. There's another person that was asking specifically about these coasters. Okay. So another thing to do is when you click on the project to customize it, scroll through here and it's saying that it's using the wreath image and then each one of these letter images. If it was using a font that you were able to double click and change the text inside the font, this would say it was using a specific font instead of images. So again, we're going to customize and we're going to replace it. So when I click on this one, all of those different pieces are attached to each other. Attach means holding the placement in position. So I'm not able to edit anything, but if I come down here and click detach, now 
I could change this A out. But again, it's an image, not text. How do I know that? Because it says decorative monogram here. If it was actually text, it would say text right there and tell me what the font is. So that's how you know the difference. It says text. I can double click on this and change the letter. If it says decorative image or some other description, it's an image. So now again, I want to right click on that and go image info and find that cartridge. Ironically, it's the same cartridge we were just using. Cartridge or image set that we were just using. So now I'm going to insert that and I can click on just the A. Let's go over here. I'm going to click on just the A and delete that. And now I can take the S and put it in there and size it up. And now it's ready to make. So I hope that helps you to understand the difference between a letter that's an image and a letter that is text. You can see right there, both of these S's right here, this one says text, this one says decorative monogram and how to be able to edit monograms. There might be some projects that are done with text, but then when you click on them, you're gonna be able to double click to change them, but also in the layers panel, you'll see that it says text. I hope you learned something new. Make sure to like, leave me any comments with questions you have, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.